everybody, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Hey Weird Talking. I got uh, my good friend and co-host Bob Peel in the house. How are you, Scotty D? I'm doing well, and uh, as Bob has said, I am Scotty D, and I am the. I, I, they tell me I'm the host of the show. I guess it's because show. I mean, you you introduce the show, yeah. you kind of things along. Yeah, I mean, that's the host. And uh, we are really excited about this show that we call Hey, We're Talking. We've got uh, a lot of people starting to get involved, a lot of people starting to hear the show, listen to the show, watch the show, interacting with us. And uh, it's good stuff, man. It's it, We're getting to that point. We're getting really close to 100 episodes. In fact, I believe, Bob, I'll, I'm going to say one more thing and then I'll throw it over to you. I believe... We're hoping on the 100th episode to have a little special, special gift to show everybody. Uh, And I'll leave it at that. Go ahead, Bob. What were you going to say? Yeah. You know, you and I were talking before the show, Scott, um, about the amount of listeners that we're gaining, uh, not only on the podcast, but on, on YouTube as well. And it's nice to see that. You know, it's nice that you guys are out there sharing our show and talking about it and interacting with us on Facebook and and YouTube and all that stuff, and we, we really appreciate it. It's not it's nice to see that the numbers uh, on our, our podcast have gone up a lot on iTunes and on Podbean and, and other social media um, formats. But you know w- we appreciate that, and we just we just hope that you guys continue to spread the love. And um, I mean it, it it's very humbling for all of us just to know that people take time out of their day to listen to what we do. And I will tell you, if you are a fan of Danny Black, which I hope that you are, make sure you go to Where Is Danny Black on YouTube and watch his videos. He's got some amazing videos that came out last week, uh, some really cool stuff going on. But we make an appearance in one of the videos as he's driving across the country. He's got his iPhone up on the dash. And what do you know? It's Hey, We're Talking in the video, which is just awesome i mean danny thank you you don't have to do that but the fact that you gave us a little publicity on your star show i mean dude the guy has a lot of subscribers and he he was nice enough to throw us in there so i was so happy yeah i I just caught up on a couple of his videos and on which now i'm i'm current again and uh it's what Danny does is, is pretty awesome, man. The way he puts together his videos and, and all of that stuff, I'd love to have some time with him just to be like, dude, what's your mentality going into some of those videos? Uh, him flying in a helicopter over New York and, yeah. uh, you know, his, his time in New York was pretty awesome. Trying to trying to meet up with Casey Neistat, um, and Casey unfortunately was out of town. but Don't give it, everything away! I know, it, it, it's awesome to see, though. Yeah. I'm watching Bob's phone, by the way, like keep lighting up and he looks at it every once in a while. He's got a hot date or something. I don't know what his deal is, but he's in demand. My wife is at work, so. Well, um, there's people that want you to come and join them and you keep looking at your phone. You cannot wait to get out of here. No, no, not at all. This show is is first. This show is priority. (laughs) All this stuff can wait. I flipped over my phone so I don't see it. Okay. I'm just laughing because I'm watching it light up. I didn't know you were so popular. I'm not. I'm yes, you are. No, I'm. I'm just. I'm just one of those guys that just hangs out and mm-hmm. will laugh. I guess I don't okay. know. Okay, all right. I'm like a fat comedian. That's all. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I want to mention again on this show because it hasn't cleared up. So what the heck. Uh, we, if you're watching the show on YouTube, you're going to see a little bit of delay in our voices. So sorry about that. Yeah. It's, it's a Skype issue or some kind of techno issue that we don't know of. So, Hey, you know what? I might, we might as well just reach out to the people that watch and listen to the show. If you know a way for us technologically to do this in a better way, please, I want to know. I've explored a lot of different options and none of them have worked. Um, and Skype at this point is the only one I can think of to really use. There's some other things that we could do. And if you're a technical genius and you want to tell us, um, some ideas, I would love to know. 
Yeah, how, how can we record our video and our audio in this format like we do and, and sync it all together? Uh, Skype is Skype works, but unfortunately we have times like this where there's a major delay, which messes up our, our video quality and our audio quality. And then we've tried Google Hangouts before and that just does not work. Um, so if you have some ideas, let us know. We may try Google Hangouts again. I was encouraged by Danny Black actually to try it again. He's like, I think it's better than it used to be. And I'm like, I don't think so, but we'll try it. We might. You can't, uh, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try it again, but we'll see. Anyway, all right, so here we are. It's Wednesday. You're on Hey, We're Talking. We appreciate you. We're glad you're here. Today, we're going to talk, Bob still wants to talk a little bit about the salary cap, but I want to tell you what the main idea today on the show is. If you are someone who enjoys sports, you know that this time of year is what I like to call the sports hole. There is nothing going on. I mean, I'm not, uh, I know I'm going to get beat up for this. A lot of people are Major League Baseball fans. I am not uh, a diehard. I'll catch games every once in a while, but it is just so boring to me. And then you throw into that, there is absolutely nothing going on. I mean, from the end of June, middle to end of June until, you know, training camps start up and preseason for football, I know it's only like two months, but it feels like forever. It really yeah, does. And that that's what we have right now. M uh, NHL's over. NBA is over. We've got baseball last uh, or yeah, last week, a couple days ago was the uh, MLB All-Star game, which was great. Um, but what else do you have? You don't have the NFL. You don't have the NBA. You don't have the NHL. I, I mean, golf goes all year round, but I'm not a huge golf fan. So some of the, you, some of the, the, I'm sorry. I talked over you like twice and it twice, cut you off twice. Thank you. Sorry. Say what you said again. I don't want to cut you off. I, I don't remember now. I'm very upset oh. that you cut me off twice. All right. What I was going to say is it's golf. Um, I got to admit. I think the Masters already happened, didn't it? There's uh, a, there's yeah. a, the Masters sometimes, if you catch like the last day, that's one of those things that's so funny. This is, a, this is what happens when there's a sports show hole, when there's no hole, when there's nothing going on. You'll be like at home on a Sunday and you're like, oh my gosh. Although, Bob, you're so busy, you probably don't do that ever. No, I mean, my life. You know this, Scott. A lot of people don't know this, but my life has been extremely busy over the last couple months. Yeah. Um, with, with, you know, my son, he's going into high school and he's got marching band and, you know, my daughter's working all the time. I've got teenage kids and my wife works these odd shifts as a nurse, just like Derek does. Um, you know, it just I've I've been extremely busy, so I don't notice the the summertime sports hole as much as probably others do. Um, but you know, I, I try to just enjoy the summer. That's really what I'm doing, especially yeah. considering the fact that I'm in the Chicago area and we have cold weather from Halloween until Easter. So I'm to the point where I'm like, Hey man, it's warm outside. I'm going fishing. Yeah. I'm just sitting outside having a drink and a smoke and just enjoying the, the, even the hot temperatures. Uh, we've had a lot of, uh, hot hot temperatures and high humidity over the last couple of weeks. And it's like, as much as it sucks, I'm still going to enjoy it just for the fact that I have seven months of cold weather. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So again, I think for you, especially at the age that your kids are too, man, you're just so busy and all those things that you said, but anyway, I will every once in a while find myself, uh, on a Sunday afternoon or something, just flipping through channels. Uh, not that nobody does that anymore, but I, I got rid of, I cut the cord. So I just have an HD TV antenna and I do pick up all the stations around here. And so every once in a while, if I'm really bored, I will, I will flip through channels, actually flip through channels. So here's the thing with us. We DVR the few shows that we watch. Right. We don't watch a lot of shows, but we DVR anything. Here's what, here's what's crazy. The last, and th this will tell you how busy I've been or how much I don't make TV a priority. The last live show that I watched on TV 
was the season finale of Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. And that was what October or November or something like that. And now we're in the digital July. No, they did. They did shows in February. Okay. Well, maybe that's that's when it was. But that's the last actual live um, show that I've watched on TV. Uh, I keep up with all my sports teams through my ESPN app on my phone. Boo. You know that stuff. But, well, I mean, come on, it's easy. I've got a Yahoo, uh, a Yahoo one as well. That, Yahoo. That'll, Hey, Yahoo, if you want to sponsor it, hey, we're talking. Um, so, you know, I don't watch that much live TV, and especially on, on sports over the weekends or whatever, but I, I have to make sure to keep up with my teams that I enjoy. Um, I did watch, well, see, I guess I lied. I did watch a lot of the Hawks games, the playoff games, stuff like that live. First round. Yeah, which I'm I'm glad. <laughs> so if we're going to talk a little bit of hockey since Derek ain't here. Yes. Uh, I'm glad the Hawks went out first round um, because if you look back in the last couple of years with the Hawks, they've gone into the second round and beyond for, for years. And it just takes, it takes its toll on your team. Totally. So for them to get into the playoffs and then exit first round, I I'd rather have them this year exit first round than second round, just for the fact that they get a little more time to rest. Yeah. And they, and Stan Bowman blew your team up a little bit. So It'll yeah. be interesting to see what happens. Well, but I have to trust I have to trust the management because over the last, you know, I don't know, over the last eight years, they've not really let us down overall. So yep. I just I just have to to trust that they're doing the right thing. Yep. Yep. I agree. So here I was thinking to myself, what are what are other sports that happen in the summer? And I don't even think I didn't look this up, but I think there used to be MLS games, so Major League Soccer games in the summer. But I think I don't think that's their season anymore. I don't know for sure. I'll no, still... because if I remember recently, I remember uh, our friend Kevin Twyford, West Virginia Piper, however you want to say it. Uh, I remember Kevin saying, you know, Chelsea won the Golden Nugget or whatever it that's, was. That's a different. That's a different league. That's uh, English Premier League. That's EPL. So that's different. Major League Soccer is an American. You have a team in Chicago, the Chicago Fire. Come on, dude. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I have to talk to my friends of uh, Hispanic descent to kind of get filled. Oh in my gosh. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends, but my white friends, they don't do soccer. But my Hispanic friends, they love soccer. <laughs> they oh. don't do soccer. No. So um, one of my friends that actually listens to a show named Juan, his son is on like the junior Chicago Fire team. Really? Yeah. So he, he's a good goalie. I that's mean, he's cool. He's a really good soccer player. So they're all into that. But I just, I don't know about soccer. That's just not my, never got into it. Okay. I'm looking it up right now. Actually, I Chicago think... Fire's in first place if they're playing right now. Let me see if there's actually games going on. Uh, I did soccer for one season when my five-year-old son at that point decided to play soccer. And he played for one season and we're like, ah, okay, this is boring. Okay, so here's the deal. There's some stuff. There's like some friendly matches or something going on. U.S. kickoff, Gold Cup run. Uh where there's countries playing against each other, but then on July 10th, it looks like they're starting up again. So July 10th, the MLS season will resume. And uh, right now the Chicago fire is in first place in their division, the Eastern conference. Yeah. So July 10th. So they actually started their season on uh, two days ago on Monday. Yes. I'm sorry. I've lost track of time. That's even okay. though, even though everybody already knows that listens to this show that we that we're not live, we're but this airs on Wednesday, so it we're was Memorex, right? Yeah, yeah, it was two days ago. So anyway, so uh, I've tried to watch soccer. I tried to watch English Premier League, and um, dude, there's some things about it that are kind of fun, especially if you're a hockey uh, fan. There's things that are similar. You can kind of go, oh, yeah, look how they're passing back and forth, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it is literally there's no contact. And if there is, you know, they act like they got murdered. And then um, basketball. Yeah. Like LeBron James, when someone if he feels the air of someone's hand pass by him, he's like and falls down. <laughs> um, yeah, that's another reason I hate basketball, by the way. I used to like basketball. I played. 
which is hard to believe, but I I played and I used to like basketball, but I can't watch it. Let's talk about that a little more on Friday, and let's talk about the reasons you and I personally don't like basketball. <laughs> we could. We should just do like a a show about that another day or something. I don't know. Maybe we could talk about it Friday. There's some, I was excited about what we were going to talk about Friday, so I don't want to talk about basketball. Okay. Well, we'll put it off. We'll wait. We until, can. We'll throw it in there. It'll be fun to talk about. We'll wait until the basketball season starts, and then we'll talk eh. about. Don't like about basketball. No, not worth it. I do like college basketball. I'm gonna. We'll talk about it on Friday. So let's just wrap this up. I've tried to watch soccer, but it is boring as all get out. It's just nothing going on, man. It t- like when there's games that end zero zero. I mean that does happen in the NHL sometimes, but at least they hit each other. Um, I don't know. Yeah, somebody gets a tooth knocked out or something, and that's fine. But the truth is, I said that a hockey game could end in a tie. It cannot in the regular season or the playoffs. There's no ties. They have shootouts now. So, yep. Anyway, all right. Listen, let's let's go ahead and put a pin in this. We'll come back on Friday. And the reason I was excited about Friday is, even though I don't like to watch baseball, I am a fan of baseball movies. So we're going to do our top five baseball movies on Friday. And I'm sure there's going to be some controversy. I'm sure there's going to be. Oh, man. Baseball movies. There's just some classics. I don't know if there's going to be much controversy, but we will let you relive that era of your life when you saw that movie. Okay. So we will see you guys on Friday. We appreciate you. And we'll talk with you soon.